I do like the sash, though. Thank we got, you, we got Jimmy. the sashes Thank going. Thank you. Yeah, we've got yeah. the tashes. <laughs> no, oh, talk about how you got involved with this this particular film and this particular character. Yeah, how I got involved. Yeah. Hey, I took a call, one of those Skype calls there, where I just like all of a sudden Ang Lee was <laughs> on my iPad and was like, oh, hey, hi, Ang. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we just discussed a little bit about this character, and then, uh, and then the, the next day they were kind of go, "Can you come out in a in a week's time?" Oh wow! And I was like, uh, in the, "Give me two weeks. I need to get everything all ready." And, <laughs> uh, and then I was on a massive tour to Savannah, Georgia, uh, Cartagena, uh, Colombia, and um, uh, Budapest. Yeah. I mean, the places you went with this film. Yeah. I mean, that must have been kind of amazing yeah. on its own. Uh, I mean, it was um, it was incredible. I mean, and also the um, you know we were filming at the places where we were supposed to be. Yeah, and uh, which is rare. Yeah, and the colors as well, and the contrast of the colors. Uh, you can definitely tell. You know, those sort of deep verdant greens of uh, Savannah, Georgia, and then and then you have. Uh, you know the multicolors of uh, of uh, Cartagena and these kind of rustic oxides of uh, of Budapest and you know all of that is captured on screen you know with these 120 frame per second uh, cameras yeah which gives you this amazing immersive Dolby sound experience yeah that's kind of you are in the experience yeah for sure yeah. I mean. The thing is, technically, it's so well done, yeah. but you're also working with a, a director like Ang Lee, yeah. which it must be kind of interesting because he seems like he's the best of both worlds, technically proficient, but also an actor's director. Yeah, totally. Is, what did he offer? What did he you get out of him for this? Um, I think, you know, what I mean, with Ang, he's kind of like, he's, he's, he's like the quiet conductor for me, you know, this kind of a more kind of between your takes will kind of come up and we'll just have this, it'll just be a sentence he'll give you that knows what kind of just moves you forward for your character. You know, it's very sort of a gentle, delicate approach, you know. Does the, the actual effect part get a little weird for you? Like dealing with the faces, like? Mm, with, yeah, no, I mean, I can't, I mean I've, I've been used to kind of that on, on, on a few number of films, but like, uh, uh, working, uh, you know, there's one um, particular scene like we were in Glenville and we were shooting in a barn. We'd have uh, Victor um, uh, Will's uh, body double dressed as the young Will, you know, and uh, we were playing our scene there. And then a little, uh, you know, a month later, we'd be in Budapest in a studio with the Weta team filming the exact uh, scene with Will uh, um, swapping places. So, you know, that's kind of sort of took me back to just my sort of rehearsal days in theatre, really, you know, yeah. which is kind of, you know, the sort of template of the the, the area of, uh, of the barn and where certain ha hail bales were or, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was something that I, I was kind of accustomed to as well, but like, uh, Technically, you know, what Wata did was uh, amazing with all their cameras, yeah. We have to end this right now. You have all of his gifts without his pain. You made a person out of another person. Then you sent me to kill him. You made a choice to do this to me. This thing that you are struggling with is fear. Embrace it and then overcome it. Of all the people in the world to come after me, why would he send you?